Hi everyone, well today we're August 20th, 2016 and today is a video request for Frankie the Boss uh, wants me to film the 10260. Unfortunately we have some bad news uh, my 323 workhorse lawn boy well rest in peace she blew the motor and the connecting rod snapped and you know how it goes so that sucks and that actually was the very first lawn boy I bought back in 1998 well surprise it lasts this long and good quality uh, engine so the trimmer I told you in the last update that the FS38 newer one was the last working gas trimmer that I have well guess what you wouldn't believe what I just picked up uh, the other day. Lawn Boy gas trimmer, 1400C, and the serial number indicates it's a 1985. So pretty much it is a Ryobi engine, and it has a split boom where you could actually attach a cultivator so kind of think of it as the early combi units okay on choke This has auto primer, so you don't need a primer for this one. And there we go, she's running. Okay, so I'll give you a little walk around of the lawnmower. It's an LEV 100, 1999, 10260. I just checked the oil. It's fine, clean, and I haven't used it at all this year. And I just filled it, topped it off with fresh 89 octane.
it knocks a little bit, but it runs for the time being. I have no idea when this thing will quit, but this is abused for almost 14 years and it's still going strong. That's a Tecumseh for you. And I swear, that was probably one of my best finds. A Lawn Boy Gas Trimmer 1400C. And they do exist, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> wow. All right, so now for the blower. Man, it is so humid outside. I'll film my VR550 Formix. 65cc. Oh, I love this 550. Okay. All right, everyone. So that's the video featuring the 1999 Lawn Boy 10260 with a 4.5 horsepower Tecumseh LED 100. Knocks a bit, but still going strong. This 2012 Steel BR 550 4 mix and this beauty an ultimate gem in my Lawn Boy collection. A 1985 Lawn Boy 1400C. 31cc curve shaft made by Piston Products, which is Ryobi at the time. This decal looks in better shape. But as you can see, it runs like a champ. So, I figured I should talk to you about my Duraforce. Uh, so I stated in the, earlier in the video, uh, I was mowing a lawn and all of a sudden I found a nice big ass crack in, or on the engine block where the carburetor sits. Now, as much as I love that machine, I, I mean, I saved up for three years when I was 13, started cutting lawns. I mean, this was my pride and joy machine. Uh, sadly, you know, uh, there's life and there's death and for me to put more money into it, like the transmission still works, but it's very tired. It's the original transmission from 98. Uh, the engine needs a new short block which is $115 plus the second deck that is on there, uh, which was from a 324 is pretty much all cracked up. So, I mean, uh, as much as I love putting money into the machines to getting them into A1 condition, I probably won't be restoring that one. So instead, uh, for $300, my guy is giving me a choice between a Lawn Boy 10550 and a Lawn Boy 22261. Now, both of them are Duraforce motors. The 10550 is basically a Duraforce with a personal pace system from Toro or Easy Stride, uh, not my favorite transmission, but uh, it can be retrofitted with the top handle of my 323. And the good thing about it, uh, the body's in pristine shape and uh, it's aluminum, so it will never rust. And the other one, the 22261, has a little bit more mileage on it, not too much. Uh, the deck it is a bit corroded, but it's still pristine. But honestly, I, I, I pretty much will prefer the commercial because big red gas tank and three-speed transmission. So 
Let me know in the comment section below which one would be a better deal. Uh, honestly, for my opinion, I would take the commercial over the 550, but that's just professional, uh, personal preference. All right, everyone. So um, thanks for the video, the guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it. You know that uh, lawn cutting videos now are sort of a dying breed, especially with the lawn boys that, you know, no one seems to care too much about them since they're old and people don't want to use to, uh, to mix the oil and gas. I still do, I still love them. I, I swear to two strokes with all the commercial use I've been putting on there. I mean, look at my old, well, my, my 2010 Briggs and Stratton engine. It's already on its second motor and it's only six years old versus the 323, which was 16 years old and it's on, it's, it just blew its second motor, so. That's how much I love two strokes. So everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. And next week, uh, choose your lawnmower, the trimmer. I'll be featuring the FSC 60, the electric one. And then after that, uh, I will take repeated requests. So either if you want me to film the 5272 or the commercial brick top with the C engine, I think that'll be a great uh, video to watch. So guys, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.